Hello, this is uh, Pastor Andrew Grosjean again, Canaan Baptist Church in Taylor, Michigan, um, and I'd like to give you the sermon summary for um, Do You Hate the Preacher? Uh, this is ba this sermon's based out of First uh, Kings chapter 22, uh, verses 4 through well, going on through the chapter. But if we could look at um, verse number 6. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about 400 men, and said unto them, Shall I go up against Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up, for the Lord shall deliver it into, thine, into the hand of the king. And Jehoshaphat said, Is there not a prophet of the Lord besides, that we might inquire of him? And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man, Micaiah the son of Imla, by whom we may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him. Uh, for he doth not prophesy good, according, um, good concerning me, but evil. And Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. And I'd like to look at four ways you can know whether you, uh, do you hate the preacher? Well, if you refrain from the messenger, then you uh, may be like Ahab here. Uh, and I say he refrained from the preacher because when he called all his prophets together, he left out the one man that he hated, the one prophet of the true God, the one preacher who would tell him the truth. And he refrained from going where he could hear the word of God. And it may be that you also hate the preacher. Maybe that's why you can't seem to stay in church. Maybe it's uh, why you just don't have the joy of going to church anymore. Because you reject the uh, preaching of the man of God. Now, um, we see here that if you refrain from going to hear the messenger, you will also reject his message. See, the problem with, uh, with Ahab wasn't just that he hated the preacher. The preacher is just the mailman. He's just the, uh, the messenger from God. You've never, uh, you've never said, I'm not going to talk to the mailman because I don't like the, the bills from, from the uh, electric company that he brings to my house. You don't reject the, the mailman because of the mail he brings. Well, you shouldn't reject the man of God who preaches the word of God faithfully either. But Ahab did reject the messenger, and so he rejected the message. He wanted personality. He wanted pleasure. He wanted prosperity. Um, see, um, in we see here that the message that Mekhi, that um Ahab wanted from Micaiah was you will go and you will prosper, you will achieve and we see this in 1 Kings 22 uh, verse number 15. See this was a message of prosperity that uh, Ahab wanted to hear. Well here's the thing prosperity does not equal godliness. There were plenty of poor people in the Bible that were indeed uh, very godly Jesus was not rich. Paul the Apostle was not rich in his earthly ministry. Um, we could go on with uh, so many people from the Scripture that demonstrate that how much money you've got in the bank does not show how godly you are. Now, of course, God can prosper people, but that's not the measure of godliness. <laughs> See, he refrained from the messenger. He rejected his message. And we see that the reason why Ahab rejected Micaiah was because he rejected the Messiah. Um, you see here that when Micaiah confronts Ahab, he says in 1 Kings 22, verse 16, And the king said unto him, How many times shall I adjure thee to tell me nothing but the that which is true in the name of the Lord. Verse 17, And he said, I saw Israel scattered upon the hills as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, These have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. 
You see, he's making reference to the Messiah here. We see that Jesus, so many times in his um, ministry, like in Matthew chapter 9, verse 36, looked uh, on to the people of Israel and said they were like a, a people, a, a, that need, a sheep that needed a shepherd. And we know that Jesus is, in fact, the good shepherd. And because Ahab rejected the true Messiah, the true leader, the true king of Israel, he was not going to have the leadership of God in his life, and he was not going to stand for the preaching of God's man. He rejected um, the message, he rejected the Messiah, and my friends, are you also rejecting the Messiah in your life? Do you turn away from God um, by saying you don't need uh, the gospel like uh, we see here from Ahab? He didn't want to hear good preaching because it wasn't the preaching you wanted to hear. Well, the preaching that you need to hear, my friend, is that you're a sinner. That's offensive to everyone. Jesus died for you and you need to be saved. The gospel, the wonderful grace of it is that you don't have to pay for it. All you have to do is accept the Messiah and ask Him to save you. Please forgive me of all my sin, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart and save me. And He'll save you. Ahab rejected God's man. And we see that when you reject the preacher, you reject the messenger, you reject the message, you'll also respond with mistreatment. You see, if you follow the chapter down here in 1 Kings 22, you see that um, Ahab gossiped about the man of God before Micaiah even showed up. Ahab was gossiping about him. Oh, I hate that preacher. He doesn't do it. It doesn't say anything I want to hear. Well, is that is that the way you treat your preacher? Is is what you have for lunch every Sunday roast uh, preacher? Well, if that's the case, my friend, you are uh, following in Ahab's example. We see here uh, that he attacked him in gossip. We see that he was attacked physically. Um, this other prophet, Zedekiah, there because um, of his prophecy, and he hated Micaiah as well. He attacked Micaiah, and with full approval of the king. We see also that he, the king attacked him legally because uh, he put um, Micaiah in jail, used the criminal justice system against him. And we're seeing a day where more and more people reject the word of God and reject the messengers of God and use legal attacks on them. My friend, you know what? Our country wasn't built and made for this. Our founding fathers, although they may have had a lot of problems, they tried to make our country a place where you could exercise your religion in the freedom, in the way that God led you to. We see here also that he attacked him financially. He put him in jail. He made it so that he had to eat the bread of affliction and the water of affliction. There, he attacked his pocketbook. He attacked his way to make money. He took him out of his own field, out of his own farm, and threw him in jail. Well, my friends, the, the conclusion of this matter is Proverbs chapter 9, verse number 8. It says here, Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. You see that the way you react to your preacher tells whether you're a fool or whether you're wise. If you hate the preacher, you prove yourself to be a scornful fool. But if you love the preaching of God's word, you will become wiser. Thank you.